Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk about Thanksgiving calories. You thought I was just going to talk about gratitude. Here's something. Guess what? Today is Thursday. If we cut back Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if we have no bread those days, if we maybe have a yogurt, if we walk 4,000 more steps a day, and then we have a little extra on Thanksgiving, maybe not gorge on the leftovers, we can have the goal of staying the same. One year, I was a much smaller group. I brought really nice presents in. And everyone who stayed the same or lost weight after Thanksgiving got a present. And I didn't say, all you who didn't, who gained weight, sit over there. I mean, I tried to be <laughs> unobtrusive about who won and who didn't. But uh, let's just have that be our goal. Try to cut back the next few days, try to burn a few more calories. And here's a brilliant concept. I know many people in the group do it all the time. Eat whatever you want, but smaller portions. Say to yourself, I'm going to have one plate, a little stuffing, a little gravy, a sliver of pumpkin pie. I'm going to taste everything. I'm just not going to be able to get the Hoyer lift to move me from the table. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And there's even a recipe here for low-fat bread stuffing. Now you might say, oh, 134 calories and only 341 milligrams of sodium? That's way too low for my Thanksgiving plate. But the thing is, try it. Try it. If you don't want to try it for Thanksgiving, try it another time. And I'm going to stop there and I'm going to do my yearly tradition. 